Hello there, welcome back to my Sims 2 Uberhood. My name is Brianna Peppers and we are still in Strange Town. We are going to be joining an interesting household today. It's gonna be Olive Spectre. Yeah, it's just Olive. She's still kicking, she's still hanging around. I mentioned before I do have a custom lifespan, so I suppose whenever I synced everyone's ages with the custom lifespan that she actually got quite a few years back. She wasn't going to expire the next day the way that she does normally in the vanilla game. So Olive is still living right here in her little 13 dead end lane house. Uh, she still has her cemetery. I haven't really done anything to change this house in any way shape or form so it's gonna look very familiar when we get in there. And as you can see she is green but I have downloaded a mod that is supposed to erase the witch overlay so when we go in she should have her natural skin tone back. We can see here Olive Spectre is now known as Olive Spectre the Atrociously Evil Witch, which is just perfect. And I haven't changed her bio at all, but pretty much everything is just the same with her. She is, I mean, yeah, she's an evil witch, so let's go in here and see what's going on. Here we are inside of Olive Spectre's home, and we can see that there's some weeds and, and puddles everywhere. <laughs> uh, that's mostly in part because we have the ghosts still, and that one of them, or maybe two of them, come through and they must have died from drowning because you know they leave puddles everywhere if you're at all familiar with strange town and with this house then that should come as no surprise to you as you can see everything looks exactly the same I haven't changed anything except for the fact that Ophelia's room is now being used as Olive's like witchy room she's got her cauldron and her pulpit what do you call that I don't even know uh, we have whatever that is <laughs> some of her witchy things and she has been creating some things, so the higher you get in the witch levels, if that makes sense, uh, you can create things. So we have things like this lamp. Like, look how cool. I actually really like this stuff. It's pretty neat. Uh, this is one as well. So that's neat. Oh, and also she made this chandelier that's hanging over her. Yeah, it's great. Okay, so this is interesting. <laughs> <laughs> um, so the no witch overlay is working for her body, but not her face. I'm gonna see if I change her appearance, if it will change back, that could be a thing. Okay, so it didn't work, and she thinks she's ugly. <laughs> I'm gonna try one more time, because when it pops up, you can see here that she does not have the green skin. Um, I don't really want to change anything. Maybe let's change her eyebrows, give her some clay hair matching eyebrows. I think something that makes her look more evil would be nice. I think these are good. <laughs> okay, there we go. So I, I just actually had to change something and then it works. She's still not impressed. Olive has been spending uh, her nights. She's been a little nocturnal recently. Is that the word? Nocturnal? Where you sleep in the day? I think it is. <laughs> um, but she has been sleeping during the day for the most part, and she goes out at night, and she just kind of wreaks havoc on community lots. It's really funny. I can also see that she fears the death of Don Lothario. So you may recall from Don Lothario's episode or my introductions episode, but Don Lothario and Olive Spectre have actually begun like a love affair of sorts. It's definitely not something that I planned. It kind of just happened that way. I don't even really remember how they met. So it is what it is, and she came really close to ending him, so like she was about to add him to her garden, if you will. She had him locked up in this room, but I don't recall exactly what happened, but all I remember is that he's not dead. She let him go, and now she fears the death of Dawn. So perhaps Olive has changed her ways at least a little bit when it comes to Dawn. There are other people that she is more attracted to than Dawn, or at least has more chemistry with, so to speak, but... You know, for the most part, she, I guess she's really in love with Dawn. Her wants right now are to cast an evil spell and, well, cast a regular spell. I do have that want locked in. I've been letting her study a lot. Let's check her abilities, actually, and see which, who was she just chatting with? Someone named Jeff. Okay. Sorry, Jeff. But yes, let's go and see what spells she can cast. Oh, the phone's ringing. So as far as evil spells go, looks like she has pretty much all of them. We can turn someone into a zombie. We can break someone's heart. Remove someone's memories. Attack someone. <laughs> make someone angry. 
Yeah, these are pretty interesting. I like a lot of these, but the only issue with these is that you have to have regions. I think that's how you say that. So she has to cultivate a lot of these in order to cast the spells. What's something... Should I, I don't think I want a zombie in the neighborhood, personally, although it would be interesting, but... Oh, and we can see here her alignment is fully evil. Like, she is just full-on evil. <laughs> okay, so we'll just maybe check out and see which spells she can cast already. Oh, the only one she can cast is Inflamo. Or what about on another person? Spiritus Poultria. Okay, yeah, she needs some more regions. So someone's calling her on the phone. Amin Warner. He looks like just a townie. I don't know who you are. Thank you, but no thank you. Oh, yes, and her son, Nervous Spectre, of course. He's out and about. He's currently living in Pleasant View. Okay. <laughs> Oh, I, oh, she has some lifetime aspiration rewards to, or benefits. So I think I might give Olive a secondary aspiration just for fun. So let me see what I want to give her. Let's, let me think about that. All right, so according to her interests and everything else, I do use the secondary aspiration calculator created by Pleasant Sims. I know some people think that that is not exactly accurate. I like to use the calculators, and I like that what the results usually are, so we're going to go with pleasure. Uh, I think that Olive, she only has like a few days left to live, maybe a week at the most, because sometimes even though it only looks like it's a couple days, it is longer. So we're just going to go with pleasure. So she's going to get some witchy wands from her knowledge aspiration, and she's going to get some wands to do some pleasure sim things, and I'm totally fine with that. I normally do avoid pleasure aspiration for my other sims because it can get a little repetitive, but I don't mind it normally. Okay, so we only have Eye of Newt, Crystallized Moonbeams, and Mystic Dust. So she's going to need some other things. Oh, she was making Claws of Darkness. She was making a throne. I don't think that we finished it. Yeah, so let's actually, let's finish making her throne. That's going to be perfect if I replaced the chair in her garden. This is actually fascinating to watch. <laughs> and she looks like she's having a good time. So Olive has finished her Claw of Darkness throne. I'm so excited. So I want to see what this looks like. I think I've seen it before. Uh, and this is my plan. I'm going to replace this chair with this. Oh, yeah. I like it a lot. Uh, this grave right here closest to the throne, I think, is her most recent late husband, Ichabod Spectre. So I think that whenever Olive does pass on, I'll put her grave right here as well. And then I'm not sure what's going to happen with this house. I'm thinking that perhaps I will just let Nervous and his family inherit this house. But at the same time, I don't know if it fits their vibe. Uh, Ophelia is currently living in Pleasant View with Johnny. I think that... Um, and they're living in a trailer. So it could be that they would want this house. But it remains to be seen. I think that Olive's first instinct, of course, is going to be to leave the house to Nervous. Uh, as we can see here, she does not have a strong relationship with Ophelia. I think that they barely know each other, actually, so it's kind of sad. Uh, but anyway, so I'm calling somebody up because all of it, her social is really low, and I don't want to send her to a community lot. I may do that later tonight. We can see she's friends with this person, Celeste the Evil Witch. Celeste is the person who showed all of how to be a witch. Uh, maybe we will call Dawn. I think that could be interesting. Oh, no, he's he's at work until 4 o'clock. That's okay. That's okay. Let's call someone else, and then we'll still invite Dawn over a little bit later. So I changed my mind. We're actually going to invite over this townie called Matthew Smith. Uh, I think he is from the Garden Club, if I'm not mistaken. So we're going to invite him over, and whatever happens, happens. You know what I mean? What even is that? Ramen? And that's not a serving bowl. I don't know how she did that. <laughs> I'm a little confused about what that is, but okay. And uh, Matthew has her- oh my goodness! Since when do we have a genie lamp? Hold on, we're gonna bring that in the house. <laughs> I have to, uh, I, I never really use these, but oh my gosh, it's too perfect for Olive. She's going to greet Matthew. I think that perhaps this bowl of, I'm pretty sure it's ramen, is supposed to be something else but I don't know what. Oh my, sir. Hold on. Okay, the maid's hair was messed up. Uh, our maid is Remington Harris, so, but he's, he's all better now. It's fine. Okay, so we're here. 
Matthew is admiring Olive. She's like, oh yeah, I know I'm the best. Thank you. You don't gotta tell me. Uh, they do have pretty good chemistry. Hey. Uh, yeah, they've got two bolts. Oh no, now she wants to buy a bubble blower or take a bubble bath. Okay, <laughs> the pleasure sim wants are coming through. I think I'm gonna do something. All right, so I actually just gave Olive a college degree because she's a knowledge sim, and even though she's a little older and times may have been different when she was younger, I think that maybe she would have gone to college, you know? So that's just kind of my way of justifying it because I wanted her to have multiple want slots. All right, so this is going well. Uh, sir, your beard really doesn't match your hair, but that's okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, oh, oh my God, okay. All right, uh, they went straight for that. <laughs> they went right for it, okay. Listen, I'm not complaining. You do you. I don't know. No, this is their very first time kissing. <laughs> That's amazing. Okay, I'm just going to leave them to their own devices. If they're going to do that right away, I'm pretty sure I see a casual woohoo in their very near future. So something about Olive is that she is not finished with her... Okay, they're going to toss football. Oh, dear. She is not finished with her life of, you know, expiring other sims, if you know what I mean. So she actually has been, ever since she became a witch, that's kind of when I picked this back up, she has been going out with like service sims and things and then having them die. So first we had Lee Lewis, who was a repairman, and he passed away after their woohoo. And then she woohooed with Wyatt Lee, and then Wyatt passed away. I believe he was a bartender. But she hasn't had any victims since then. So I think maybe we'll add Matthew to the garden. I could totally see that being Olive's MO here. But for now, let's get out of the rain. We do have some needs to satisfy here. I'm interested in the genie lamp. I'm not sure what I should wish for. I usually just wish for money. She's already doing pretty well with finances. She's got 40,000 simoleons that she's never going to use. So her son is probably going to inherit that. But hey, that's great for Nervous. I don't know why we're just watching her use the toilet. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, where are you, Matthew? He's on our computer? Okay. Are you Matthew? Um, she doesn't really have any wants. She wants to influence someone to clean. Girl, you have a maid. But okay. I'm going to cheat and put them in the same room so that they will kind of like interact with each other more. I don't know why he's on the computer. I have a mod that stops that. Uh, it stops the townies and neighbors from using your computer relentlessly. But I guess Matthew said, that doesn't apply to me. So they're just going to have a little bit more of a conversation. Of course, she's talking about rats. She does want to cast an evil spell. Um, but if I remember correctly, the only spell... I can cast Spiritus Poultria on him. That's going to make him act like a chicken. But before I do that, I don't want to sabotage our uh, woohoo prospects. Okay, so it looks like she's going to jump into his arms. Yes. Amazing. I'm thinking maybe we'll ask him on a date? Oh, he's got a crush. So we're going to... Oh, I keep clicking on her somehow. Oh my gosh, Matthew. Oh my goodness. Ask on date. And he's like, yeah, I'm totally already into you. They have crushes on each other now, so that's good. Alright, and this is going to be my way of getting her to roll once more pertaining to him. We're going to entertain him with a dirty joke. Uh, I see here he's also a knowledge sim, so that's nice. He wants to dance, be tickled, have a pillow fight. I think I'm good on that. And I missed it, but we also aged up another day, so it's 6 p.m., so it says she's 78 days old. I, Of course, with the elder lifespan, it doesn't really tell you how many days they have left. I think there's a way you can check that with a mod or a cheat, but I'm going to prefer to let it be a surprise. Okay, we're going to dance together. Fantastic. This date's already going pretty well. Uh, he only has friendly once as of right now, but that's okay. We're going to tickle him like he wants. Okay, so they're, yeah, they're having a great time. We actually want to classic dance now. I'm going to let her, I would rather her classic dance than slow dance just because it takes so much longer <laughs> to slow dance. I want the bill reminder during my date. 
Oh, okay, and now we're getting frisky, so she wants to make out now. He's not quite there yet, so I think I'm gonna maybe talk to him again. See if he's into some gossip. Olive is the type she would talk about. Oh, <gasps> not nut futa. Not nut. Oh my god. Oh my, and he's scandalized. He can't believe what she just said about nut. Okay, we're going to make, oh. Make out's not an option. Okay, well maybe if I smooch a couple more times. Maybe I'll, I'll give him a, a, a suggestion. There it is. There it is. And they're just having the time of their life. She also wants to have a dream date with him, which is nice. I like the idea of them having a dream date and he brings her a bouquet of roses and then she kills him. <laughs> and then the roses could be like a trophy. Alright, so technically they're not going to roll the wand to Woohoo because they don't usually roll the wand until they're in love, like with that specific sim that is. So I'm just going to cheat and use the casual menu with ACR and I'm just going to send them to her bed. I feel like they've already done everything else. This is the logical <laughs> next step and of course they're going to get nude. All right, have fun, guys. Okay, and I see, ooh, the ghosties are out and about. So we've got Danielle Greaves, Benjamin Cho, Seth, Zadie. Yeah, and they're not happy. This is nice. Okay, and they're going for it. Good for you guys. Enjoy. Who says elders can't have fun? All right, and Benjamin is in our fridge. <laughs> Looks like he was an exterminator. I don't remember this being their names, but I guess there's just more graves out there than I thought. Yeah, there's so many. Okay, they have finished their woohoo. And we're still not at a dream date, which I'm shocked about, but let's just satisfy some more wants. She's like, oh, that took a lot out of you, old man. Let me give you a back rub. And I just know one of these ghosts are going to pop out on us. This household used to terrify me when I was a kid. Honestly, this one and the goth household with the- Oh! See? Okay, so like I was saying. Okay. Nice. Anyway, yeah, the goth household, just the sounds that the ghosts make, the tombstone song, like it's a little scrape- it's, it's very creepy. Wow. Okay, we just got him to fall in love with us. Uh, but we're actually just gonna go ahead and end the date now. <laughs> It's 10 o'clock at night, 10.30, so I guess we're not going to go to a community lot like I was thinking. Maybe we'll go tomorrow night. This is only the first day of our two-day rotation with her. I'm thinking that I'm going to let Matthew go home so that he will bring us the flowers I was talking about, and then we'll trap him. That sounds so evil. Okay, and now Olive is free to rub the genie lamp. I will admit, this is pretty cool. I've said before, I'm not usually a huge supernatural player or anything, but, you know, this is pretty neat. I am an all-powerful genie with the fabric of the universe at my command. I will grant you three wishes. So our options are wealth, beauty, or we can resurrect someone, which I'm not going to do, but <gasps> imagine if I resurrected Lila Grunt. Wow. Um, yeah, I'm sorry. Oh my gosh, Mortimer Goth is an option. Yes, but no. I'm not going to choose Give Me a Long Life. <laughs> not the ghosts just trailing in one after the other. Um, this is actually tough. Should I give her the power to cheat death? I don't think I want to because I kind of do want Olive to go <laughs> eventually. I don't want her to be immortal. I think she would want to be immortal, but I don't know. I, I like the lore behind Olive Spectre that she's technically like in love with the Grim Reaper. I mean, she had a child by him and it's common lore that uh she, you know, adds these people to her garden, uh, specifically so that she can see the Grim Reaper. Oh my goodness, not her smiling while she was scared. Anyway, but I hope I finished my thought. I think that makes sense. <laughs> Alright, we're gonna get some leftovers. The ghosts are just out and about. They're going crazy. Oh, okay, the genie went away. Uh, I can still summon him later. Get out of the way. Okay, we're gonna have some of whatever that is. Nope, another scare. Okay. She sees like 10 ghosts a night. It's amazing to me that she hasn't died from fright, but I suppose that their needs have to drop a certain way. Oh, she has three loves at once. Okay, Matthew, Dawn. Who is the other one? <gasps> Must be a dead person. 
Because <laughs> they're not in her relationship panel. That's interesting. I suppose the last person she fell in love with was Wyatt Lee. He was the bartender. But he's dead, so I don't think it should still count. I'm not that worried about it, to be honest. Okay. Hey, Seth. So, Olive is a very neat sim. She's always going to clean up after herself. Good for you. And it's 1.20 in the morning. I don't feel bad about sending her to bed. And we'll go ahead and end this day. And, of course, Matthew is still here, but he's on the computer. I don't know what his deal is. I need him to leave to bring me the, to bring me the flowers. Oh, I think he's leaving now after we went to sleep. And then, I want my flowers. Where's my bouquet? There he goes. Okay, he did leave it down there, but that's alright. Thank you. I'll take that. So the thing about the ghosts, and I never really noticed this in any other household, but I guess this house has so many ghosts that it's much more obvious. But when the ghosts come through the bedroom while the sim is sleeping, and they like walk into some furniture or something, I guess they're technically making noise. And it wakes up the, the sleeping sims really interesting so she's awake but she still has she's still tired so I'm just gonna let her have her bubble bath try to relax and then go back to sleep it's 6 a.m. now and all the ghosts have gone back to bed <laughs> and Olive will be waking up very shortly I forgot to mention this but Olive is a retired professional party guest I think that she's retired when you start the game or maybe she is at level 10 and then it asks you to help her retire. That might be the case. It's been so long, I can't remember. Alright, so we are awake. And she now wants to ask a sim on a date. We could always ask Matthew out for round 2 and then do the thing. <laughs> I think for the time being, I'm just going to have Olive make some regions. Um, she needs, she's got Eye of Newt, Crystallized Moonbeam, and Mystic Dust. So let's make some Dragon Scales and some Viper's Essence. Those sound like evil things to make. Oh, and then the phone's ringing, so we're going to take a quick break because Olive is a very social person. She's got to get her talks in. Oh, it's this guy again. Sir, do you have any idea who you're calling right now? Like, you don't want to piss her off. <laughs> I didn't even know the maid was here, but he just left after only being here for an hour. Uh, that's okay. I want to see, Don never did get over here last night, so... Oh! He's available right now. Hmm, I'm actually not going to... I'm going to ask Don on a date. I mean, hello, she wants to. So, and I think we're going to go to a community lot. We're going to get her off of this home lot. And uh, maybe make some Viper's Essence real quick. I want to see if she can cause some chaos on the community lots with her evil spells. Okay, so we have to choose where we're going to go. Uh, the magical world is an option, but honestly, these lots, I need to see if I can somehow get in there and like, can you edit those lots? I don't know, but uh, they don't really have a lot to offer. If we're going to stay in Strange Town, there is a restaurant called The Vineyard. Um, I downloaded this from, I think, Mod The Sims or something, but I don't remember why I put it in Strange Town. It's definitely more of Veronaville vibe, but, you know, past Brianna, she has her own reasons, I guess. The Dirty Melba, of course. If you ever watched Pleasant Sims, you'll know that that was one of her custom lots, and I really do love it. I do love the Dirty Melba. Um, this is a toughie. With it being in the middle of the day, I don't really want to send them downtown, so I guess we're going to go to the Dirty Melba. It's a classic strange town lot at this point, but you do need to stop what you're doing and go get in the taxi. I guess technically Olive wouldn't have needed to take a taxi because she could have just flown on her broom, but that's okay. Oh look! A little cameo! We have Laszlo and, and Scout. Hi! We have arrived with Don Lothari. Oh my god, what is that? <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> I am dying right now. Uh, I just was so caught off guard. Johnny Smith has shown up in his work outfit. He is currently, I think this is the commercial actor career, like, you know, show business, but oh my god, Johnny. Okay, 
I'm sorry, I got a little sidetracked. Um, Don Lothario, it's been so long since I've seen you, my dear. You're looking great. <laughs> I love his new clay hair. This is a new default replacement. Yeah, he's looking good. I, I love Don. I don't care what anyone says. I love him. Okay, he has fears of getting married to all his girls. <laughs> Alright, but we're not worried about them. We're worried about Don. So we are going to leap into arms. That's all of signature move. Oh, hey, Jill Smith is here too. Oh, girl, you better stay far away from Don. Jill is married, or no, engaged, I'm sorry, to Buck Grunt. So she's unavailable anyway. Okay, so they are doing great. They already want to get a picture taken, dine out, dance. Maybe we'll go turn on this, uh, the jukebox and we'll play some songs. I do have this lot available to teenagers as well as adults, so that's why Tasha Go is here. Okay. And now we're gonna dance. Right here on the dance floor, that's actually perfect. Okay. Look good. Okay, now she's he's afraid of uh, marrying Olive. Listen, Don, you're not getting married, okay? You can relax. You may remember if you ever saw Don Lothario's episode at the beginning of my Uberhood gameplay that he actually was briefly engaged to Jill right here. <laughs> this Jill. I think her name is also Jill Smith, but I'm not sure. But yeah, that ended poorly, so... I'm going to let them go ahead and take a picture. Something tells me they're probably going to wind up in this photo booth again later. <laughs> but we're going to get a photo taken, because why not? We're going to ask Dawn to join. Nice, he sits in her lap. <laughs> Very cute. We're going to take a romantic photo. <gasps> oh my gosh, Dirk Dreamer. Hi. He's going to the basement. This lot's pretty cool. I was never able to learn how to make basements, so this is pretty neat. And it's a very functional one. Like, I can see in there really well. Pool table, chairs, vending machines, the works. Okay, the photo has been taken, and now Dawn is ready to, uh, ready to get, you know. Oh my gosh, this man in this outfit. I can't with him. Johnny's getting, <laughs> he's getting down over there, I can't. Oh, and now we want to woohoo with Olive. Perfect. I don't really understand what Dawn's motives are with Olive. Um, she is not really his usual prospect, you know, but... Okay. <laughs> the evil laugh. But, you know, I kind of like it. I kind of like them together. It's weird. It's perfect Sims 2 chaos. Uh, we are going to woohoo... Oh, in the hot tub! I didn't even remember... Yeah, this place has hot tubs. That's awesome. Not the unsavory charlatan being here. Where are you? Here he is. Johnny. He's really got the moves. Good for you. Okay, these two are having a great time. And we're just gonna kind of let them do their thing. Unsavory charlatan's gonna... Okay. He's gonna observe from afar. Okay, there they go. Having a jolly good time in the hot tub. One of Dawn's favorite places to be. Amazing. So they just had a great time. And we're up to a great date, which is good. I think now I want to start casting spells on people. <laughs> Can I cast a spell on the Unsavory Charlotte? No. That's a bummer. Who else is here? Wow, everyone has kind of cleared out. There were a bunch of people here earlier, and now they're all gone. Oh no, they're down here. Okay, let's go to the basement. Of course, Olive is now going to be in her swimwear, but that's fine. Who in this room shall I cast a spell on? Oh my gosh, Johnny has new hair. <laughs> um, she's got a bolt with him. That's fun. Is there anyone in this room that she dislikes. No, she doesn't really know any of them. But she doesn't really need a reason, does she? We're gonna cast a spell. Oh my gosh, actually we have a lot of options now. Okay. I just noticed Johnny's coming up to Olive to greet her. He's like, hi, I know you. Why can she just attack her? Oh my gosh, that's amazing. Johnny is trying to admire her, and then she was gonna insult him. Olive, you really are a character, I'll tell you that. First of all, I want to hustle. I want to see what that looks like. I really, I never play with the pool tables, so 
Okay, it didn't work, but that's fine. Oh, wow. Oh, apparently... I don't know what the deal is with Sandy. She even has an option to buy her off. I've got no clue what that's, what that is about. Um, but we are going to just go ahead and cast a spell. Cast a spell. Hevis Ho. I don't. Really, I don't really remember what a lot of these mean. I know the Corpus Fleshicus makes them fat. Melifera attack them. I think is where she would be attacked by someone. Let's see. That's an evil spell. Bang. Oh, oh, it's the bees. <laughs> She's being attacked by bees. Oh, that's awesome. Sorry, Sandy. I don't think they can die from this, right? Oh gosh, she is just... I guess they can't use stairs while she's running from it. Okay, that was great. And it satisfied her want to cast an evil spell, so we're doing awesome. Oh my god, and then she's gonna come up and... <laughs> kiss, kiss, darling. That's amazing. Oh, Tasha only has two days left before she ages up. We don't have much time left on the date. Oh, wow. Okay, they were just fighting. We don't have much time left on the date, so I want them to go and get something to eat. Olive's hunger is getting a little low. Okay, so she's still in her <laughs> swimwear and she wants an omelet. Don hasn't even shown up. I don't think he's coming to join us. Although they normally do. Here he comes. I think, did she order for him? It doesn't look like it. No, he didn't get anything to eat. That is hilarious. Sucks for you, Dawn. Now eat your omelet. There she goes. He just gets to look at the menu. He's thinking about a salad. Sorry, dear, but no one's coming to take your order. Um, they're still not any closer to having a dream date. Maybe I'll blow him a kiss or something. There's Ivy Coper. I think she went on an unsuccessful date with Don once. Oh, <gasps> not his rolling the wand to get married to Olive. Oh wow! Listen, I'm locking that in. <laughs> I don't think that that's going to be in the cards, but what an intriguing thought. The only issue with that is that Olive always kills her husbands. Or maybe she doesn't. Maybe she doesn't kill them, but they certainly don't last. I see Dawn also has wants to go out with Bella and everything, so... Okay. Uh, but he wants to dance. Can I? Can we dance? Oh, look, a very pregnant Beatrice Monty is here. Okay. Still not getting them up to a dream date. Maybe a makeout will do it? Oh yeah, thank you. And it gave us some time back. Donna wants to woohoo again. I'm just going to let them do whatever they're going to do for the rest of the time. I think I'm going to let it run out. Oh, Lilith Summer Dream is here. Looking so good with her new clay hair. Hi. Yeah, I love her. Lilith and Puck are probably one of my absolute favorite Uberhood couples, aside from Brandy and Laszlo, of course. Oh my gosh. Ar Amin is the bartender here. The one that's been calling her. That sure is interesting. I don't even know where Don is right now. Like, where did he go? Oh, he's downstairs eating a bag of chips because he couldn't get his salad. That's awesome. Okay. He's having a cheat day. All right, so the date has ended. Don said, that's what I'm talking about. And as she's over here talking to the bartender, uh, even though the date is over, oh, just kidding, her wants are be rolling. I was going to say, she still has all these wants for Don. Amazing. Well, thanks for the great date. It is now 10 o'clock. I want to see if there's anyone else we can cast an evil spell on. Maybe Ivy. I don't remember what Magus Mutatio means. I'm a little scared. That sounds really bad. I think Mutatio would be like mutation or something. Like, these are Latin, right? So. Oh, it doesn't look like it worked, actually. <laughs> She's going to have to do it again. Yeah, something's going on with her... Hmm. Maybe that just is a wrong spell. Maybe let's try something else. Compello Discrepo. What's that do? 
Tiffany's Reuben is about to find out. Is she okay? Like, what's going on? Come on, any day now. Bam. I'm suddenly feeling like the world is on fire. What the hell? Okay, it looked like she caught on fire for exactly two seconds, and that was it. So that was kind of a bummer. Alright, we're gonna go ahead and get out of here. Oh my gosh, Ophelia is here, and she has a new hairstyle. Looks like a new default replacement has taken over. So let's get a good look at her. Ophelia. This is so adorable. Um, Olive and Ophelia, yeah, they really, like, they don't speak. They don't talk to each other, but I think it might be nice to, you know, talk to her. I mean, she was talking to Ophelia's husband earlier, so might as well say hello to Ophelia. Not the handshake. She's like, oh, Aunt Olive, what are you doing on this community lot with in your swimwear? <laughs> and they're already not having a good conversation. Yeah, I think Ophelia really resents Olive for a lot of reasons, and that they just, I don't think they're really meant to have a good relationship, from what I can tell. But something just satisfied a want for Ophelia, maybe she had the want to talk to Olive. Okay, this conversation's going a lot better. It is now midnight, though. I'm gonna go ahead and send her home. But that felt productive. Okay, it's 1.30 in the morning, and Olive is just rolling on home. So, I kept forgetting to pay her bills, so we're gonna do that now. We'll see if we can manage to get in the house without being scared by a ghost. Something tells me no. They are out and about, wreaking havoc everywhere. She wants to pull a prank on someone, which is funny, and to take a bubble bath. Her hygiene is pretty full, but I might let her do that. I wanted to have her invite over Nervous and his family for like a dinner or something. Uh, she doesn't really know her grandchildren very well at all, which is kind of sad, but it also makes a lot of sense, if you will. I don't know how like grandmotherly she would be or if she would just kind of scare them. The real question is, does Nervous know that his mother is an evil witch? Because Something tells me Ophelia knows, and that may be why, or part of why at least, that Ophelia has sort of separated herself from Olive. Not her on the couch looking so angry. Um, or perhaps, like, she just has a feeling about it, and so it just kind of makes Ophelia uneasy. She doesn't really want her family around Olive because she doesn't trust her. And Nervous, I feel like if he knew, it wouldn't really matter that much to him. Okay, hi, Benjamin. Oh my gosh, I can cast spells on them. What? What does Expello Sime do? I gotta check the spells again. Hold on, don't get on the computer. Check abilities. Okay, so... Expello Sime. Get rid of the sim, get them out of my hair, make them disappear into thin air. Wow, so I wonder if that actually deletes the sim or if it just kind of like removes them from the lot. So these are part of the neutral spells. The only good spell she knows is the Benamudis Sime. I'm choosing to say it's Sime. Sime, I don't know. Uh, to take, make people's moods better. Oh, I see. So the Magus Mutatio that I was trying to cast on Ivy earlier is actually the spell to turn someone else into a witch. And I suppose that it didn't work because Ivy's a townie. Maybe that's why? I'm not really sure. But <laughs> that's funny. And then the one that I tried to cast on, I think it was Inflammo. I actually don't remember what spell it was that I was trying to cast on the other girl. But anyway, yeah, so it's three o'clock in the morning, but I'm just going to have her like, you know, do her thing probably for the rest of the night. Oh, she finished. Just kidding. Okay, so it is four o'clock in the morning and someone has come by to pay a visit and Olive may or may not have <laughs> trapped him in a windowless room that he is pacing like a caged animal but olive has had a long day so she is actually going to go to sleep and whatever happens to this guy happens oh no it's she woke right back up girl go back to bed it's now 7 a.m the next day and matthew is um crying a lot <laughs> But he doesn't seem to be falling ill or passing out or anything. Okay, 
this guy, Amen, it is uh, too early in the morning for you to be calling, but apparently she's making friends with him, so I might just let it happen. Alright, so Matthew has just had his first accident. <laughs> I know it's 10 a.m., so technically this part of the round, like, it should be over, but I just really wanted to see if anything would happen here. Something tells me that he can't die because he is an NPC or something, but I know I've done it before. Like, I know that other townies have died in this room, so I'm not sure what's going on here. But yeah, it looks like he's just kind of stuck. Okay, unfortunately for us, um, Matthew can't die. <laughs> um, he's invincible, apparently. I think it has something to do with the fact that he's like a, like an NPC, like a... No, that's not the right... Um, I, think, I think it just is that he's a townie. I do remember someone saying once before somewhere in the internet world that... Um, oh, we have a rose. That townies can't die on residential lots but i just don't know how true that is because i know i've done it before so not sure what we missed but matthew gets to live on another day just like dawn did and with that it does mark the end of our two-day rotation we played a little longer than we should have but i was mostly just curious to see what would happen but yeah so olive has had a time uh, was, this was a very short episode mostly because it just goes by really quickly when you're playing with a single sim but also there wasn't a whole lot going on. She has just been working on her witchiness and going out on dates, kind of just living her best, you know, evil witch life. She's not really in close contact with her family right now. Uh, her son and her are very close friends, but again, they are kind of like, you know, nervous is out there in Pleasant View, living his life with his wife and children, and Olive just kind of doesn't really fit into that lifestyle right now. I don't really foresee a future where Ophelia and Olive grow closer, especially because as we can see, Olive is very close to expiring of old age herself. If I had to guess, I would say she has, at most, perhaps two days left. But like I was saying, it looks like she probably only has one day, but sometimes it's more than it looks like. So, at least in my experience, that's how it's happened. So, if we do happen to have another round with Olive, we'll probably get to see her um, meet the Grim Reaper and pass on to the other side. On that note, that is going to be the end of today's episode. I want to thank you so much for watching. If you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. And also follow me on Twitch if you haven't already because I do stream Sims 2 content over there as well. I do keep all of my links down below in the description, including an invitation to my Discord server, so feel free to pop in there if you would like to. I'll see you guys in the next episode where we will be playing with the Beaker family, which includes Loki, Cersei, and their two sons, Fallon and Owen. And Loki and Cersei have been getting up to some mischief in uh, other people's episodes, so it's going to be interesting to see how their marriage is faring over there. I'm excited to go and back and hang out with them. I hope you have a great rest of your day. I'll see you in the next one. Bye!